Hey, Black Hollywood Live. I'm Allie Kona Bradford, and I'm sitting here hanging out, waiting to meet Miss Princess Shaw. Today, we are going to be talking about a film called Presenting Princess Shaw, which is about a YouTuber who uploads her music online and gets discovered all the way out in Israel and has her song produced. It's a pretty cool story. We're going to have some great conversations, not just with her, but also the producer who found her and the man who documented the entire process. It's a really, really great story. I highly recommend you go see the film out May 27th. But until then, check out these interviews. You feel pretty? You're good? Um. <laughs> doing, doing my best. <laughs> okay, so I am here with the man with the plan. We're here with Kuderman, who's responsible for finding Miss Samantha Montgomery over oh. the internet. You're also a really well-established artist over in your country. Can you tell us a little bit about your background in music? Um, I started playing piano when I was six years old. And then in high school, it wasn't cool enough. So I started trying different uh, different instruments like drums and guitar. And uh, yeah, when I found out, um, when I had a computer and internet connection, I started doing the YouTube thing. Yeah, but you're also, uh, you've worked with some pretty cool people from Steven and Damon Marley to like, you've done a lot of cool stuff. So being an established artist, what made you decide to start looking on the internet for unknown talent and trying to create music around them? Um, I was just um, watching a lot of tutorials um, just to improve my own playing and just one day I, I started opening them in different tabs and thinking maybe I can just put them together. And this is how it all started. And then I wanted to find the, um, the artist on YouTube with the least views. You know, it's like finding this rare record in a record shop. So, yeah, I love it. And what was it about Samantha's work that you really, really fell in love with? Um, I had this I had this track ready. Um, from different YouTubers and I was searching for a vocalist and I searched for days and nights and days and nights and then one day I just found her video and she was just perfect and I guess Samantha has this unique way of touching people and uh, I guess it kind of went through the screen then she touched me. I she guess. grabbed you. Yeah, well, she I've <laughs> noticed in a lot of her videos, she's very real. She's very raw with her emotions and everything that's going on in her life. And as you're creating this track, she's documenting all these things that are happening. And some of them are really, really heart wrenching. How yeah. were you able to not reach out to her and be like, hey, don't worry, I'm, I'm making this thing and it's going to be amazing. I, I didn't know what will happen with it. It's not that I knew, you know, I'm making this thing and all of this is going to happen. Like I had no idea as well, you know, was just working on it and I was uh, yeah I kept thinking about her wow I want her to hear it and I'm glad that I didn't tell her anything and she found it so what made you guys decide to do a documentary <clears throat> about her because she's not the first artist that you've made a mashup mm -hmm. for so why her story why does it need to be told um, Ido, we, I know Ido for a long time and uh, he wanted to do a documentary and it's his field, you know, I, um, and he started traveling around the world, meeting some of the artists from the project. And when he came back from New Orleans, he said, that's it, I want to focus on Samantha. She's such an amazing person with such a beautiful story. And, you know, it's his uh, film. So I said, OK, um, do your thing. And you guys are still working together, right? You and Samantha? Yeah, we started working on on some music. Last time she was in Israel, we recorded a um, couple of our songs, and hopefully we're going to be able to release something very soon. Nice. So what would you like to see happen from this film? Um, I would really want um, uh, the music of Samantha. Like I would really want to see Samantha keep on singing and performing and not working in a nursing home. Of course, yeah. of course. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Amazing film. You guys, make sure you check it out May 27th in theaters. I'm Ali Kona Bradford, and I will see you next time.